Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss the second principle of object-oriented programming and that is abstraction. The concept of abstraction is far wider than what we're going to discuss today. However, in computer science is a mean it is a means of promoting code reusability through abstracting some of the implementation details from the user. In today in Java in, in particular abstraction can be implemented through either interfaces or abstract classes. Today I will be building a simple example of a of, of a coffee machine and I will try to add some abstractions and try to decouple the components in order to prove how abstractions can help you enforce dependency inversion. Okay, let's uh, get to actually write some code. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a class called Coffee Machine. This class will have a method called uh, making coffee. It's actually going to return an object called coffee uh, and it's going to take in as parameters the sugar level and another parameter called coffee type. Okay. And like the body of the method is just going to be returning a new object and passing in. Let's first pass in the coffee type and then the sugar level. And let's also change this over here. Okay, so now um, we will have to create these classes. So the coffee type is actually going to be an enum. Uh, we're going to add two values. Let's say we're going to add an espresso and a flat weight. And we're also going to create coffee. which will have two fields. The first one is going to be the coffee type. And the second one is going to be sugar level. And let, let's create a constructor for this. And let's create a getter as well for the elements. And now actually our code is going to compile. Cool. Okay, next we'll have to, we'll create a class called making coffee. And here we're actually going to create a, a few coffees. Okay, so let, let's imagine we're in a coffee shop and we're actually going to order the the two the two coffees we've just created. So I'm just gonna make a list of coffee and I'm going to name order and it's going to be an array list and we're going to add uh, first we'll have to also create the coffee machine right because we can make coffee without the coffee machine so okay that's created and i'm just going to inline everything because it's fairly simple so this is going to be an espresso and we're going to make it with two uh, grams of sugar let's say and let's add another one let's add a coffee and we're going to make flat white with no sugar because it has some foam and now let's just um, print this uh, let's do like this let's map everything format and then we'll do string uh, with sugars okay and we'll just pass in coffee coffee type and coffee get sugar level 
and we'll actually want to print this out but I want to print it out nicely using a logger so I'll just do I'll add it here maybe logger factory and we're gonna make, make him coffee okay no oh, this one like this all right cool so we now we're just gonna do logger info and that's the reason why I actually added a map here because I wanted to use a method reference rather than just doing it here do the formatting yeah, in this bit okay so let's just run this and see what we get okay so we got an espresso with two sugars and flat white with zero sugars obviously grammar wise it's not pretty cool but yeah let's just uh, yeah just bear with me okay so now we have this uh, we have this coffee machine that, that's making coffee which is really nice uh, but let now let, let's try to build on this and try to split the functionality a bit let's just imagine that making an exp the process of making an espresso is quite different than the process of making a flat white which in practice it's actually is true right because you need to actually make the foam and do a double shot of espresso in order to make the flat white so obviously the, the process is a bit different okay and we might actually want to to have the code reflect this okay so in order to do this we're gonna do it like this we're gonna try to create actually let, let me just create a class first uh, we're gonna create a separate class that's gonna be focused on on making espressos and another one that's gonna be focused on making flat weights okay so each method is gonna each class is gonna have a method it's also gonna return a coffee um, and this is all so we'll just call them the method make espresso and it's also going to take in the sugar level as it previously did and we're just gonna return new coffee and the sugar levels and uh, we're just gonna pass in uh, the, the coffee type first which is obviously espresso and the sugar level pretty much we're gonna do the same thing for uh, for flat white and we're gonna do public coffee make flat white and this is also gonna take in the sugar level and we're actually going to return the same thing except this is going to be a flat white rather than espresso great so now next thing would be to change this piece of code and actually have the coffee machine reference these two classes so let's just add references here uh, espresso maker yeah that's the one and it's going to be a new espresso maker and this one's going to be called the flat white maker and yep this is the one okay cool so now um, the making coffee kind of uh, method will switch between the coffee types and what actually what's going to be it's going to be a flat white so if it's a flat white we're actually going to return flat white maker that make coffee and sugar level if it's an espresso uh, we're going to return yeah obviously an espresso from the espresso maker we're going to make one okay and in the default case we're actually going to throw an exception because currently we only support flat whites and espressos so we're going to do new illegal argument exception great so now if we run the code again nothing's going to change right so we're still getting these two 
uh, as we previously did except now we've kind of decoupled the process of, of making coffee from um, we've actually abstracted the, the process of making an espresso from the coffee machine pretty much like we've abstracted uh, the way of making coffee from the making coffee class right so um, that that's you know we've added some some nice abstraction right now so uh, the next point so we we've can okay now the next point would be to to look a bit into testing so uh, imagine we might want to do some unit testing for for making for coffee machine okay so um, let's just try to do it this right now sorry the coffee machine test okay and we want to add the reference coffee machine and just going to new coffee machine and set the test here and we'll do something like public or we should do like void make um, I don't know, make flat white make let's just do snake case make flat white okay and we do coffee machine make flat white and we might not take no sugar capture the reference and we'll do some assertions right because it doesn't make any sense to write a test without assertions so assert equals what do we want we want to make sure that the flat uh, assert equals let me actually import this first assert missing a t okay assert and we do flat weight doesn't work so coffee type and we want to do coffee type flat white yep and this is what we want okay let's just import the, the right method and we also want to assert that the sugar level is is the correct one okay great so now let's just run the test. Okay, so the test works fine. Works fine, right? So um, obviously the code is very simple, and we couldn't have gone it got anything wrong. However, let, let's just go back to to this. So the problem here that we're having is that this test isn't actually a unit test because these two are actually the real implementations they're not some mocked up tests so some mocked up instances so we're not actually testing this class in isolation okay so now uh, how the, the approach to to do this properly uh, would be the following we could actually make this espresso maker and the flat weight maker make create them as interfaces and then have different implementations for production and for test. So let's just go ahead and do, do that. Um, I'm gonna create a separate package for, for this because from a logical point of view, it makes sense to, to group these separately. And I'm go just gonna take these two classes and I'm gonna move them to makers. And I'm actually going to convert these into interfaces remove the implementation and also add the colon remove this and yep let's also convert this to an interface as well move the public remove the implementation and clean up the code okay now we'll add some implementation of this interface so let's just do like um, you know, like for, for espresso, let's just do kind of a Lavazza, let's just do like, like no number, no, no brands, let's just do, um, simple espresso maker, and it's going to implement, now it's going to implement, um, 
espresso maker and we're actually going to implement the method and let's make another one called barista hope that's how it's spelled flat flat white maker I think barista has only a single R yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think that that's, I'll ever get it right. Okay, let's just go like this. Implement flat white maker. And actually, okay, we've implemented this. Okay, cool. So now we have an implementation for, uh, for each flat white maker uh, for, for each maker and now um, obviously we, we can't do this any longer we will have to, we'll have to change this as well so the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to create a constructor and these are actually going to come from somewhere else we're not going to instantiate these here within our, uh, our class Okay, so uh, actually we're, we're, what's going to happen is we'll have to create them over here. So I'll do a new uh, simple espresso maker and I'll new do the, our barista flat white maker as well. Okay, so this is kind of um, implementing dependency injection without having Spring or any other kind of uh, uh, frameworks. Okay, um, so now we've actually added some abstraction to this and we have decoupled coffee machine from the implementation of the espresso maker. So what this does, it actually it frees us up from testing, it frees us up to test this in isolation using some mock-up classes. So. Um, let's just do this. We'll do test flat white maker, and this is actually going to implement flat white maker. Okay, uh, I'm just going to implement this as well, and I'm also going to do test espresso maker, and we're going to implement this. This is going to implement espresso maker. Great. Okay. Right. So uh, now I just want to make this compile as well. Uh, test espresso maker and new test flat white maker. Great. Okay. So now we actually can say that we're testing this. We're testing this method, this class in isolation from its dependencies, right? Because this, we can actually have them return whatever we want. Even though, you know, the, the actual implementation is pretty straightforward, we can actually mock this, uh, we can actually mock these up and we can um, just test uh, this piece of logic, which basically is just a switch between, uh, you know, between two classes okay um, we'll do that um, just in a few moments I want to create to add another layer of abstraction so um, you know the flat white maker and the espresso maker are both returning some coffee but it's like there's nothing special about it so um, what I'm thinking is we will actually make this coffee be an abstract class and we'll have separate classes that describe each uh, each drink okay so I will we'll create a new package it's gonna be called coffee and I'm gonna move the class over here I am going to make it abstract and I'm gonna remove this the coffee type we don't need it because obviously we're gonna um, implement this information as a separate class so we, we will not need this information um, 
uh, as a separate field. However, we might want to do something like um, let's do. Uh, we might actually want to add this method. Uh, let's do public uh, abstract string get. Uh, what do you want to do? Get uh, maker or something like this. Yeah, right. So um, we want to actually have each implementation return a different maker. So um, uh, we can do this, or we can do yeah, yeah. This is I think this is what we can. No, no even even better. I think we can make this return the get type kind of you know. Uh, let's just do it like this. We'll we'll we'll, we'll do it like this. So. Um, now what we're going to create is we're going to actually have class called espresso that's going to extend coffee, no, not coffee type, but coffee double F. Okay, implement method. And this is actually going to return espresso. And we're also going to be needing to implement the constructor. Okay, and let's create another class called flat weight. This is also going to extend coffee. And we're going to implement method, the method, and we're going to add the constructor. And this one's going to be flat weight. And just do like this. Do like this flat white, just add a space. Okay, so now if we go to the this class, we can actually return a new flat white that's going to be called. Um, now I'm just going to pass in the sugar level, and yeah, I just need the new, and this one's going to be new coffee. Uh, it's not going to be coffee, it's going to be new espresso. And I'm going to pass in the sugar level as well. So now if we go to, um, to this one, we can do get type uh, just to you know fix the, the compilation issues. And we can go ahead and run this. And yeah, we need to to fix this as well. Get type. Obviously, I mean we'll have to comment this out. We're just gonna fix it a bit later. Uh, all right, let's just test this. Let's see that our production code works. So espresso with two sugars and flat white with zero sugars. Now what we're gonna do is we can actually go ahead and have our test uh, implementations also return a different uh, type of coffee so either we can return the real deal or we can return some kind of a, a test for this so we can go ahead and do something like test coffee extends coffee and this is as well coffee and let's do something like we're just going to do the flat white so we're going to return new test coffee and we're going to pass in the sugar level and it's actually I think we should make this um, name it more appropriately so it should be test flat white okay so Okay, test flat white and okay. Okay, we make the flat white and now what do we want to do? We want to check the name if the name is correct. Test flat white. You just go ahead and test coffee. Ah, let's make it test flat white as well. Okay.
Mm, yeah, no, this is where we actually want to go. Okay, and we're going to run the test. And hopefully this is going to work as well. And it did. Okay, so uh, let's just recap what we've done. So um, we've created a making coffee class that actually has a reference to a new coffee machine that takes in two implementations of, um, of an espresso maker and a flat white maker. Um, and inside we actually just switch for, we look at the coffee type that we want to get and we delegate the making of the coffee to individual specialized makers. Okay, these makers, as I've said, are abstract, so they only contain the implementation, the, the, in, the API, sorry. And we actually have to go and see what the actual implementation does uh, in order to return the coffee. Coffee in itself is also an abstract class, so we have some common sequencing, I mean, we have some common code to all implementations. However, the get type method will depend a lot on uh, the actual concrete class. This has actually freed us up to, to do a bit of dependency injection, uh, which in turn has allowed us to better test the, this class um, and cover it by unit tests because we were able to actually create separate coffee maker, uh, flat white and espresso makers uh, that we passed to our test class. Obviously things are a lot easier with modern frameworks such as Spring, Mockito and, and others, but this is how you would actually do it uh, with pure Java SE and yeah this is this is all I wanted to show you I hope you enjoyed it and you found this useful um, yeah if you want comment this and uh, I'll see you in the next one thank you